Victor Garber has created hundreds of memorable characters throughout his lengthy career. But now he plays his most difficult, not off the pages of a script. Sadly, it's a real-life role of a son to a mother stricken with Alzheimer's. There are days when, when uh, it's, it's overwhelming, the sadness, the horror of seeing someone's life diminished until there's nothing left. Sometimes I don't know what I'm knowing. No, I know. The look on her face, the confusion, the fear, that's the hardest thing for me to deal with. Especially when the mother he knew was so full of life and even shared his love of the limelight. When I was growing up, my mother was a sort of a local celebrity in London, Ontario. She had her own talk show. When she finally moved to Los Angeles, she wanted to be somewhere warmer, but I think really she wanted to be famous. I guess about 10 years ago, it just started unraveling. And then she just, one day she said to me, I, I don't know what's going on. But Victor did know. He'd seen it before, years before, when he watched his father succumb to the same insidious disease. My father stopped talking. He just stopped talking and then he stopped eating. I'm convinced it was, he just said, enough. Diagnosed eight years ago, 80-year-old Hope Garber is unable to live on her own. So Victor has moved his mom into a home where she's looked after 24-7. He admits the cost is exorbitant, which makes him appreciate even more that steady paycheck from Alias. Plus, there is another perk to working on the show. Jennifer Garner, who is, um, plays my daughter on Alias, uh, who is, uh, you know, an angel, uh, whenever my mom comes to visit the set, Jennifer always invites her into the trailer. Jennifer wrote her a letter after she met her and sent her a photograph signed and said, Dear Hope, I met you with your son Victor and I worked with him. It was like this, I literally, my sister and I were reading it aloud to my mom and weeping. It was so beautiful. Occasionally, there are still glimpses of the vibrant mother he once knew. Do you know that song, Send in the Clowns? Send in the Clowns. Isn't it rich? Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. The precious commodity of time continues to slip away. The painful truth is, one day Victor's mom will slip into that place where he can no longer reach her. Every day you wake up and how's this day going to be? You know, and I sort of dread the phone call to the caregiver in the morning. How is she today? You know, it's like, ah, how's, how's it going? Because you never know. As Alzheimer's continues to take hold, behavior begins to change. Victims often driven to anger and violence. It's very painful because you think, I'm doing everything I can. My whole life is focused on making sure that you're okay, and then, and then she sort of gets resentful. But it's, it's the disease, it's not her. I want to go home. Okay. There are days when I think it would be almost easier if she was just sort of like, just not, it didn't know what was going on. And then she'll have a day like today where she stops and looks at the flowers. And as long as that's apparent, I'm so grateful. I love you. I love you too. Thank you, darling.